I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write as decimal hundreds. 75 hundreds, it means what? 75 hundreds means 75 over 100, that is what it means. Now whenever you say 75 hundreds, you can think about a fraction first and then write it as a decimal. Now if you want to divide 75 by 100, the decimal moves two places, right? And so you get 0 0.75 as your answer. And that is another way of writing 75 hundreds. So what we see here is that in words, when we have 75 hundreds, we could imagine this to be in fractions as 75 over 100 and then write equivalent decimal number. So we'll first write fractions and then write decimals. So that way we'll be in a position to understand it better. And we'll also see how to write these decimals with the help of place value chart, right? Now let me explain you place value also. So in place value what we have is, let's say that represents a place value chart where we'll have some decimal point since we are dealing with hundreds, let's say that is a decimal point for us. Then, to the left of this decimal, we have ones, tens, and hundreds. And to the right, we have tens, that is one out of ten. We have hundreds, one out of hundreds. We have thousands, one out of thousands. We are at present concentrating on second position the hundreds okay so we get 0 0.75 a number could be written as 0 0.75 that is how we could write this right so that becomes its hundreds position now let's move on and continue doing this exercise so let me read them all for you you can try them first and then look into my solution two hundreds 3 and 9 hundreds, 25 and 6 hundreds, 9 and 1 hundredth, 207 hundreds, 544 hundreds, and 990 hundreds. We can also adopt place value chart. So let me actually sketch a place value chart here itself. So I'm drawing these couple of lines to represent tens and hundreds position along with ones and tens, right? So let me just draw them and then I'll explain you what I have done. Let us say this is our decimal place, right, for each. Now we'll write two hundreds. So this point is tens and that is hundreds for us. When it says two hundreds, then the number two comes in the hundreds position that is here so all these positions are filled with zeros that is two hundreds do you see that so that is another way of writing so in this position we have hundreds here one out of hundred and that is tens position one out of ten that's the decimal number this is ones and here we'll put tens okay now let's go back to fractions. When we say two hundreds, I could write this as two over hundred, right? When you divide by two by hundred, you get zero point zero two. And that is what we wrote. Do you see that? Okay, let's continue. Three and nine hundreds. Three and and means decimal position. And three is the number before decimal. So we have three here and then a decimal position that is and nine hundreds so in the nines nine is in the hundreds position so we get three point zero nine as the value twenty five and six hundreds this time twenty five is on the left side of decimal twenty five and six hundreds so zero six makes it six hundreds nine and one hundredth 9 and 100 means 0, 1, right? That is the 100th position. 200, 
seven hundreds two hundred seven hundreds now that is tricky let us first write this in fraction two hundred seven hundred so it is like this two hundred seven hundreds divided by hundred so be careful otherwise you can make a mistake two hundred seven hundreds there is no and in between two hundred seven hundreds so when you divide this number by hundred what do you get you get 2.07 do you understand so it is 2.07 so since the number is ending in hundreds position we can read this as 207 hundreds that's the trick 544 hundreds another one like before 544 hundreds right so what do you get? You get 5.44. Okay. So that is how it should be. 990 hundreds. 990 hundreds. That means 990 hundreds. That means divide by 100. So that will be 9.90. 990 hundreds right so it could be tricky at times i like you to make a note especially the last three parts and understand how we wrote these words the numbers expressed in these words as decimal numbers right so at times to understand you can take help of fractions and then get your answer i hope it helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn more about place value. Thank you and all the best.